Okay, so today we're talking about cheat meals. And, you know, to be honest with you, I don't really like the word or term cheat meals because uh, it sounds like you're doing something wrong, something that you shouldn't be doing. Uh, I prefer more to use the word free meals, but I've been using the word cheat meals throughout this whole post just because that's what people know and that's what they understand. So we'll just keep it that way. But I just want to throw that in real quick. Um, another thing I want to throw in real quick, too, is that when I go out to eat, or I, uh, my wife and I go out to eat, it, I don't necessarily count that as a cheat meal, or it doesn't have to be a cheat meal. Um, you know, I go out and I eat as healthy as possible at that restaurant. A lot of the types of restaurants that we go out to are like steakhouse type restaurants. Uh, that's just what we really enjoy. And, you know, I can get a chicken breast uh, or a piece of steak and just ask them to not grill it in you know butter or put butter or whatever it is on top of it that's not good for me and they're gonna be accommodating to you uh, and they always have been for us um, you know and then I'll get a side salad with like a vinaigrette dressing and you know one of their fresh vegetables or a plain baked potato or a plain sweet potato or or something like that but anyways, I just wanted you to know that, you know, just because you go out to eat doesn't mean that has to be one of your cheat meals. You just try to choose something off the menu uh, that's as healthy as you can get. Um, so I just wanted to throw that in there real quick. But anyways, so for me, what is a cheat meal for me? Well, the one thing that I really, really like and I have to have ever so often are hot wings with blue cheese. Don't know why, but for the longest of time that has just always been something that I crave on a regular basis. Um, now I, I don't have them very often. Uh, it's just been a couple months since I've had them recently and I probably won't have them for another month or so. But ever so often I get that craving for them, but that craving subsides. But that's one that's one of the ones that I just, I have to have. And, and, and everybody has something different. Uh, for my wife it seems like pizza is that one thing that she always wants to have whenever she wants to have a cheat meal. Um, now, for me personally, I... I don't have a lot of cheat meals very often. For me, it's more like a cheat snack or a cheat dessert. That's what seems to satisfy my cravings and works best for me. Um, you know, like uh, every other weekend or so, we like to go out and grab a dessert somewhere uh, just to spend some time together. And it, it's usually just, you know, a scoop of ice cream or, you know, maybe maybe we'll get crazy and wild and add a brownie to it with maybe a little bit of hot fudge or anything. But I don't eat a lot of cheat meals, um, just cheat snacks or desserts. I, that's just me. Because I have found that, the, you know, the longer I've gone on eating healthier and getting more fit, I just I just don't have that many cravings for the other types of food that I used to eat. Uh, in fact, a lot of it, and I've mentioned this before, I just can't eat anymore because it just doesn't sit well with me. You know, it upsets my stomach. I just feel horrible for a day or two. So, just for me, like I said, everybody's a little bit different. Um, but I do want to say for those of you that are just starting out and you're just now beginning to eat healthier and you're just now starting to get fit, um, and you may not think that you can handle having a cheat day because uh, you may think that will really um, have you regress and want you and you may want to start eating that other stuff more often. So, you know, if you don't feel like you can handle having a cheat day right away, then don't. Um, you know, keep on with your daily um, proper nutrition and eating right. You know, just continue on with that. Don't worry about your cheat meals. You know, it's like I said, it's not something you have to do. Um, but if you start having those cravings and they're really starting to just drive you crazy day after day, then I would suggest go ahead and doing a cheat meal or having a cheat snack uh, just to satisfy that craving. Because one thing you don't want to do is drive yourself insane. Uh, because if you do, then you will be more likely to just go back and revert to your old eating habits. Um, so, you know, try that and see if it works. 
Uh, and the longer you go on with eating better, uh, you'll realize, you know, you'll realize and start to figure out what works for you and what doesn't. You know, how often should you have a cheat meal to satisfy those cravings? You know, how long can you go without it and be okay and not drive yourself crazy? Because like I said, that's the, that's the worst thing you want to do. You don't want to drive yourself crazy. Just try and eat healthy 100% of the time. You know, I don't. Um, and in fact, there's not many people that do. So, uh, just, you know, try things out. See what works for you. Everybody's going to be a little bit different. Um, but yeah, you know, incorporate cheat meals into your meal plan ever so often. Uh, read the post if you haven't um, to see how to do that, but make sure you do get those on your schedule um, whenever you need to. So, that's all I've got for you today. Um, I better stop talking about uh, cheat meals now because I'm really starting to have a craving for hot wings and blue cheese. So, until later, adios.